don't know, man. Come on, throw something out there. I mean, what interests you? Right now? Yeah. Because whether you're a guy in a cape or a rogue who's sneaky, you can always join me and Roger. As we entertain the geeky. So what is it that you want to talk about tonight? <laughs> I, got, I got nothing. Nothing? I got nothing. What do you mean you got nothing, Andy? I'm I'm as blank-minded as the day I was born. So, let me get this straight. Also right now. is the moment of orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a moment of weakness for all of us. Yeah, so right now, if, if you were Dan Aykroyd in Ghostbusters, Stay Puff wouldn't be coming. Yeah. See, look how nerdy I went there. All right, so, now, what's, what's been weighing on my mind, I've got... A group of friends who are very interested but have not played Dungeons and Dragons or any real role playing game. Oh my god. We haven't talked about role playing games in a while. I'm fucking excited. So, my problem is these folks have uh, started chatting, started getting excited for, you know, what their character's gonna be, what their names are, whatever, like what they're gonna do. Um, and the more they talk about it, the more it sounds like they're expecting me to just run Harmon Quest for them. The fuck is Harmon Quest? Harmon Quest is Dan Harmon and a bunch of people getting together on stage and performing D and D live. It's like, well, doesn't Will Wheaton do the same D&D. thing? D and D. Will Wheaton does Dungeons the same thing. Dungeons and Dragons. What? Will Wheaton does the same thing, doesn't he? What? What? Like yeah, just like yeah, something like that. Something like but, that. But yeah, you know, the, the the thing is just, what the hell am I supposed to do? They're okay. they're they're gonna sit down and they're gonna expect like you know a comedy troupe. First off, the, you need to talk to your friends. All right. Let's take a step back. You need to talk to your friends. You need to tell them, fuckers, this is not, that's not D&D. That is a scripted act um, where the char- where the characters are, are actors and everything else. Now, they may right. play the game. They're, they're playing the game. They're playing the game, but, but they know. they're professional know. comedians. They're professional comedians. They know their shit. The, it's, it's they're scripted. trying to be funny. So, I would sit them down and ask them what type of game they want to play. Do they want to play that lighthearted fantasy type game? And then, then lean them more towards, like, The Princess Bride or Willow. And say this is the source material we're going from, where it, it's a fantasy game, but it's more lighthearted. Well, that's what I'm going to go to eventually. It, now, it's really just something a little more lighthearted, but just I don't, I don't really know how to reach out to them and just tell them to temper their expectations because they're very excited. You well, should, excited. Uh, no, you should just tell them to find new friends. Like, yeah, get dump these friends, find real role yeah, players. These, no, these no, 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 right no, for no, you. no, no. We don't mean no, that. No, I got to introduce them. It's like uh, it's like anal. You got to you got to one, one pinky first. Iron Kingdom's unleashed. No, fuck that. Do it. Hear me out. I was going to say Cthulhu Tech, but... Uh, no, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. All right. Start, let's go way left. We're, well, yeah. we're, we're going 5th right. edition, because what I've played, I've liked 5th edition. Because 5th edition is great. Chris and I... It's, it's very, solid. very good. Chris and I will take 5th edition in our mouths, and we will manufacture that orgasm. Yes, we will. That is true. 100%. Yeah. So, here's the thing. Set them up for characters. You know, do, do yeah. the character creation. Explain yeah. to them that... While you see what they want, like the grand expectations, mm-hmm. it will take time for them as players, especially players that have never done D&D, to get to that level. And you as a DM now, you need to go into realizing you're not running the stereotypical save the world, it's dark, right. it's dangerous, right. fucking I will kill you, blah, blah, blah. And set them up with that fun, fantasy, lighthearted game and make those scenarios. Make that be what it is. Watch Super Mario Brothers where they save the fucking princess. Watch Princess Bride. Watch Willow. Watch uh, Briscoe County Junior. I mean, I say, I say in this one, go classic on them. Go, go classic D and D on them, and go get in there. Have the motherfuckers go into a dungeon. You're here to slay the dragon and get the gold. Yeah, and that like you don't really have to do what, anything more than that. What I'm doing is I I really want to do that kind of thing. Something straightforward. Something they almost expected, but put a twist on it somehow. Make something goofy happen. You know, have have a, have them encounter a cult that worships some sort of evil demon, but have the demon's name be something like Turf Fart. You can do all of that. Something ridiculous. You can do all of that, and you can make the demon show up and be a little guy. I mean, there's tons of things you can do. Right. That would be fucking hysterical. Right, like... like have him be tiny? Yeah. yeah. Itty bitty, itty bitty, like, well, like, they, they sacrifice the, 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 the village virgin, and they're all talking about the great and powerful... Fluffanugan, and they're they're chanting and, and fire and the earth ground and, cracks and and, and, that, and the players are really freaking out and an itty bitty demon yeah, the, comes the, this up. This two inch demon comes up, but they can't fucking hit him because of how small. Oh he god, is. no! His his AC is through the fucking roof. And then you just reenact that scene from Army of Darkness. That's a good one to watch too. Army of fucking yeah, darkness. yeah. You should watch Army of Darkness. Play it. Just yeah, just you know, that that shit you can do. Um, and then and then I as, feel like playing through an Army of Darkness campaign. Like, 
you could even set it in this like medieval esque thing that most Dungeons and Dragons well, things are set to, but that would be hysterical. Well, like I, I'm, I'm talking no shotgun or yeah, yeah, uh, no, chainsaw. No. You know what I no, mean? No, I get you, and I think yeah, that's a good movie. Also, my personal favorite for campy one shot role playing game ideas: Big Trouble in Little China. Oh my god, yes! That is to me that is the perfect one shot role playing. They do legendary encounters of that too. Yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, you're damn right they did. Because that was the right thing to do. It's beautiful. Or, it's absolutely beautiful. Or run them through a fucking one shot of Merle's truck stop in Maine. That's good too. Like, like really get them get them comfortable with role playing first. So maybe okay. not run DD, but like Mer- run do Merle's, Merle's truck do, stop. Do Merle's truck stop. Just a simple that. a simple D six game. You don't have to worry about all these stats and all that shit. Mm. Get them into role playing. Once you get their heads right, because they that's a game that you can be a little more whimsical with. You're gonna have a whimsical threat. It's going to be some stereotypical, uh, you know, slasher flick kind of mm-hmm. playthrough. Get them into that, and then just say, "All right, we did that. It took us two hours. Now we're, we're going to roll our characters." Yeah, yeah. Real like, like, like get okay. them into that because the problem right. with the big problem with when you, when you play a role playing game for the first time, there's two extremes that people take their stats. One, they don't fucking care about them. They just play themselves. They don't care about their stats. And then you have the other people that are like. They justify every bad decision they do with their stat. Oh, I go and kill the princess because my wisdom is a three. I'm so dumb. Har 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 har. It's like like with Merle's truck stop, they're playing they're playing people because there are no stats. Introduce the stats slowly and 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 make them realize they are people. God, did we just? Fucking whore out our own game. Yeah, we gotta stop doing that. That's gonna get really annoying. The to game's really good, though. It is really good. It is really good. I have a lot of fun playing it. So, any other questions? Where do you get a copy? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> At the fighting game tournament. <laughs> I'll just email you one. Yeah. We'll just put you up one before you leave. Um, no, that's, that's all good advice. That's all really good stuff. That's a lot of good source material that I gotta go through now. That's what we're here for. Yeah. So... I, I I would like to po- propose a, an idea for the show. Yeah, I, I'd like to call it "Ask Ask the Geeks," where people on people can hit us up on Facebook or send us a message through EntertainTheGeeky.com. dot com. Their questions about their role playing games, their board games, their comic comics, series, movies. Yeah. <laughs> you know, ask us questions like, "Hey, I'm I got a twelve year old. I want to get him into Batman. What stories do you guys recommend?" Are oh my god, right? Yeah, like there's, stuff there's like some that. Real good ones. So, so hit us up. You know, we will be your ask and for nerd news and everything geeky. That, that that would actually be a lot of fun. Like the the thing that makes this the most fun for us, I think, is getting to kind of share um, all the stuff that we are absolutely in love with. Absolutely, so hundred percent. So if, if you're like, hey, what game should I get this retard? Whoa, whoa, fucker! <laughs> all right, okay. What game should I get this fucker? What game should I get this bastard right here? Um, Who, he likes he likes games about trains. Well, ticket to ride. Ticket to fucking ticket ride. To ride. <laughs> no, um, our Euro rails or uh, railways. No, no, I like Euro rails because you get to draw on the map with crowns. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. That's oh, dude, time. that sounds magical. No, uh, my mom called me the other day and she's like, "Hey, I'm looking to get a new game. They have this game called Ticket to Ride. Should I get it?" And I was like, "Yes." Hands down, yes. Yeah, I, I, I was like, I was like, that is a fantastic game. Why Did he just make me teach that like an hour yeah, ago? Okay. Yeah, okay, to be fair. They, I have not played it in four years. Yeah, we haven't played it in forever. And they actually, after you explained it to them, they had to watch a video on how to play it. Yeah, they Did watched they really? Tabletop. Yeah. So you're not so oh. good. You were not so good at this, Andy Yang. Oh, It's okay. Like, Man, Andy Yang went in there. a little bit inside. He, he confused them, and then they were like, all right, we're, we're going to watch wait, wait, somebody them? that... Man, and I was busy stroking my ego after I left. Well, I was stroking something else after you left. I, I thought I fixed everything. Hey, you know what we did today? Uh, masturbated. Goody, well, we should have. The goodie bag draft. The goodie bag draft. So We should have masturbated at the goodie bag at draft. At the goodie bag So I'd like to, like, honestly, thanks, level one judge Kevin Freeman for putting that together. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of fun. For, so here's what the goodie bag goodie bag draft is. It's it's kind of a New Year's Eve tradition, a New Year's New Year Day tradition now. Um, Kevin, Peter Chu. You can say New Year's Day. Shut up, Chris. Because there's an apostrophe there. But when you're saying Happy New Year's, you sound like an ass. Maybe I'm wishing you more than one Happy New Year. Maybe I want you to have five Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We'll do just fine. So anyway, Happy New Year's. We sit down. There's 16 of us. <laughs> to all your listeners. There's 16. And there's 48 packs. Now, here's the thing. Each pack is different. Ranging from, 
I think the lowest we went was Ice Age this year. Ice Age, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ice Age all the way up to the new set. You don't you draft in one pod. You don't get to see the packs more than once. So pick the best card for your colors, and then you go fucking play Magic. And I haven't played Magic since Christmas in July. That's uh, about that. Yeah, honestly, it's been a while since I played Magic. I think I drafted at Flow. I was gonna say you, you drafted something. Yeah, I think I drafted at Flow right before, but that was it. Um, um, but it was a lot of fun. I took fifth today. Yeah, you did well. I don't remember what you what, what did you end up drafting. Green white. Green, white. Oh, and you, 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 don't, you don't get to see the packs before you open them. Oh, yeah. So yeah, you yeah. have no idea what's coming up to you. You get a random pack, you open it, you pass. Then, after everyone's done, you get another random pack, you open it, and you pass. So you can't draft for anything. You can't draft for oh, oh, anything other than, I, like, oh, I here, hope here it this works. No, here it is. I, I've, I've cracked the code to the goodie bag draft. Green, white pants. Because there's always good green creatures... There's always good white creatures, and there's always good pants. We were, I was sitting next to Roger, All the and way. we were just surrounded by people drafting green. So don't don't find yourself in that situation. No, but get green first. Red get, deck wins. Uh, no, that doesn't work. It, it really it, does, it does not. It does not work. It does not. No. I don't no. even think there was a lightning bolt floating around. There was not. Oh, not a lightning bolt. There was yes. like like there's a lot of like red is really good in, in certain sets, but not across the board. That's fair. Not across the board, especially at a random pack. Well, normally so, you can just go. I'm just going to draft red and do okay. Yeah, and not the most, goodie bag draft. Yeah, that's no, fair. Good luck for forcing a color. I think yeah. everybody was at least three colors. I wasn't. I was two. You were two? And Galambos was one. Well, Galambos, Galambos was, was mono green. And Galambos was crazy. did very well. He took sixth because I beat him that's last round. That's better than I can say. I, I ended up in the lower middle somewhere. Yeah. For me, it was all about getting a guy out there, making him stick, putting some pants on him, and swinging for a lot. And that that carried me through till fucking Peter Chu kicked my ass. That just that makes me so excited for Christmas in July. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. just want, I'm 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 ready for July now. Let's go July. Did you do Christmas in July? No, I didn't. No, oh, you know why? Person. It falls on my birthday. Just yeah. about pretty much the same weekend. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, pretty much like you celebrate your birthday by going to Christmas in July. That's what we that's told what, him. That's what Kevin's been trying to tell me for years and years. Here. Well, we don't call him Kevin. He's level one. Yeah, level, level one. one judge. Kevin Freeman. All right. You can you can like you have to give his title before you speak about him that gotcha. way. All right. Right. It shows respect. I see. <laughs> that son of a bitch won the fantasy football league this year. Did he? <laughs> that son of a bitch. <laughs> the son of a bitch. He hits me up. and He's like, so I I have naming rights to your team now since you came in last place. That motherfucker. Oh, you came in last. I came, My wife beat me. We, so you're the sacko. I'm the yes. I'm the sacko this year. That's I'm, awesome. I am the golden douchebag. We actually have the golden douchebag trophy. That's hysterical. And it's yeah. I'm getting it. Goddamn Kevin Freeman, level one judge, cut sucking mother. Yeah, he, he beat you, Freeman. He did. He, he beat me. He, beat you he, this took, year. he took first. And now you're gonna get. A, he's gonna name my team something like something he's, horrible. Right. Like he's thinking Trunks Cum Dumpster or <laughs> Knob Gobblers or well, yeah, yeah something bad. <laughs> but like his his little thing was I'm gonna call you the Snake Wrangler and I'm like dude, okay. you can do better than that. Okay, I would be like all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the Snake Wrangler. Like, oh, get no. creative with it. And then I started sending him names that I would. I was like, you know, you can call me Queefers. You can call me Loses to a Girl. You know. Fucking, I started naming off stuff, and then he hit me back, and he went, Trunks, come dumpster. How does that make you feel? I'm like, that's a pretty good one. You can do better. Trunks with Dragon hear, Ball Z? I hear uh, Anna Kendrick is your celebrity crush. Uh, how did you my, hear this? Yeah, how did you hear this? Did you listen to the show or something? Well, Kevin told me. Okay, so what's, what's the problem with Anna Kendrick being my celebrity She's crush? Cat. Plain Jane. That's yeah. what makes her awesome. Like, she's not su- like, like, Anna Kendrick is not, like, this super hot, fucking, out of realm girl. She's that kind of girl that's like, if I lost 100 pounds and tried really hard, I might get to touch her. Might. Might. Just a little bit. So, like, so she's kind of got the girl next door thing going for you, her. You pick her over, over what, Jennifer Lawrence? Yeah, I would. I'm not a big fan of Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence is blonde, and blonde is, like, negative points to me, right off hmm. the bat. Um, Scarlett Johansson isn't blonde in my eyes anymore because she's played, you know, a bunch of Black yeah. Widow. Yeah, a yeah. bunch of bla- a oh bunch of God. Black Widow, a bunch a of redheaded Black Widow, a lot of Black Widow, extremely awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Great mm-hmm. character. Mm-hmm. 
She is a good character. The Marvel, the Marvel movies just haven't used her correctly. Is I mean, they've not done a bad job a with her. What? Is she still getting a solo? It's in like it's, it's in that development yeah, it, hell it, type it, thing. It's in purgatory. Is it on the schedule? I mean, no, no. Okay. Like, there's a bunch of untitled movies on the schedule, and that could be one of them, but no one really knows. Yeah, I mean, Captain Marvel got a movie first, which really pisses me off. I mean, I know it's Brie Larson that makes you happy, but yeah, Brie Larson. I, I I think Black Widow is a character that has a lot going for her. And she deserves a solo movie. They could do a kick-ass spy movie, man. A fucking incredible oh my God. spy movie. Could you imagine her and Hawkeye do, doing a movie? Like, fuck it. Don't even do a Black... Like, like, like Black Widow and Hawkeye. Their own movie out on their own. I mean, that would be fun. And, like, Hawkeye, at this point... Yeah. ...deserves a movie. Yeah. Or at least a TV show. Well, they're like, he's got kids and a wife... He's still a fucking superhero. No, he's like he's an exciting character because of the background that they've made for him. Yeah, I, I loved him, and like that was. He I was, hated him in the first uh, in Thor. Yeah, I hated him in Thor. I, I loved him in, in Civil War when he was like, "I see better from afar." I was like, "You're stupid." I liked him in Civil War when they said retirement didn't suit you. No, that was great. Oh, yeah, a lot of cuteness there. No, it was fun. Yeah. I liked him in Age of Ultron. Like, when I, when they introduced his family and everything, I was like, this is a really fun twist for this character, because the character was... Well, was I mean, I loved his interactions with Quicksilver, too. In the comic well, yeah, book, he was yeah, so yeah. bland before yeah. that, though. In the comic books, he gets married and divorced and has kids. Like, that's part of his character. Who played his, his wife in... in um, was it Charisma Carpenter? I don't remember. Or was it uh, the girl from Serenity? Monica Bellalua, whatever her name is. It's gonna bother me now. I'm gonna have to go back and watch Age of Ultron though. I don't Why does want it to. matter? Because she was cute too. Go back to Andy Zing's argument about my Anna Kendricks. Who's yours? Who's your Hollywood baby mama? It used to be Emma Stone. What happened? Um, I found someone prettier. I think. <laughs> okay. Think? And I don't remember who it is. Well, what is she in? I... Ben Affleck. I'm gonna have to. It's not Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty man. He is. Is it Daniel, Daniel Craig? Actually, Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. Actually, Daniel Craig. the girls didn't like Ben Affleck. No, they didn't. But but they're wrong. In an That's episode, Affleck. and it, no no no. In an episode that we did with uh, Carly and Tara, we mentioned. I think I mentioned Ben Affleck because I was like, everybody thinks he's hot, and they're like, no, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> they no. They were like, we, he's just not. He doesn't do it for us. Oh, and I was no. like, huh. But we like Tom Huddleston. Yeah. No, they didn't like him either. Who was it they liked? Uh, oh, the Hemsworths. Hemsworths. Both Hemsworth. of them. Yeah. Both of them. Yeah. yeah. They're good looking men. Yeah. They're very good looking men. So, so who's this girl that is better than Emma Stone? I've been, I've been racking my brain, and all I can think about is men now. What so, is, what is she? Guys. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfuckers. What was she in? Well, I think so. Let's start from the beginning. Uh, I think, <laughs> I think for me, Emma Stone came to prominence at the forefront of my hopes and dreams uh, with Zombieland. Oh, yeah, she yeah. was gorgeous yeah. in Zombieland. She was very, very gorgeous in Zombieland, and she was an interesting character. She, she was cute. I, she was okay. She yeah. was cute. I'm not a big fan of Emma Stone, but that's fine. I'm not either, but yeah. she's cute. And her head does hit the fucking concrete in Amazing Spider-Man 2. It hits it. Yeah, it's not a neck snapping. That, that, that's not what kills Gwen Stacy. Not in the comics, but in the movie it is. Yeah, well, they then they fucked up. Continue. Well, I mean, Amazing Spider-Man. That's that's kind of what ruined it for me. Okay. Because she was just like, oh, hey, you're blonde and you, you get to stand here and yeah. like, Spider-Man chases you for a little bit. And I was like, I'm not going to see the second one. And then I did it. No. And then I did. <laughs> I, I so did not. <laughs> so come on, Andy Yang, very quickly, tell us what what movies is this girl in that I'm I can. I'm trying can... to think, but again, the just this dick on the mind. <laughs> Once you get dick <laughs> on, you can't get dick off. <sighs> I'll get back to you guys. All right, all right. So here's what I want you guys to do: go to beastescaperoom.com, enter the promo code Geeky to get twenty percent off. Twenty percent. Your one hour experience, and make sure you congratulate Ronnie Cobb while That's you're there. That's one fifth. That's one fifth. Yeah. Why do you got to come in here and do math in the middle of our show? Well, you don't have to interrupt yourself to do why? it. No. Why do you come in here and live up to the stereotypes, Asian persuasion? It's helping me think. Right. Sensation. It's yeah, just verbal diarrhea. Is he helping he me is think a sensation. Me. He is something. I'm I'm something else. Anyway, I like, I like to say that about myself. So does my mother about me. Anyway, Andy Yang, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> and then, guys, I want you to go to entertainthegeeky.com. 
You can find links to all of our social media there. Just go to entertainthegeeky.com. Dot com. Click those like, comment, subscribe buttons. Give Send us, us some an email. love. Hey, is our phone number on, on entertainthegeeky.com? I believe so. Send us a voice message. Give us a call. Yeah, um, you can call us at some phone number. Go, it's, it's, I think, uh, 657 Go Geeky. We'll, we'll get it on there. It's so something One way or the other, it'll be on there. Hold on. So bad. I got you guys. We, we fly by the seat of our pants here, so not, there's not a whole lot of organization. From whatever is he recently. Is it, is it Zoe Saldana? Yep. From 657 Go from, Geeky. From Guardians of the Galaxy? Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, we're back. Yeah, so it's 657 Go Geeky. If you don't know what Go Geeky is, that is. Four six four three three five nine. Guys, as always, stay geeky. Don't burn yourself on the hot tea. <laughs> <laughs>